Morning. Morning. This show contains mature content. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready to get your mind blown? One angry New York City warrior have decided to start a radio show. Determined to piss the world off by shoving a mirror in front of society's face. He kicked them in the balls. What are you? Who are you? This is the Crotch Shot Radio Show. Crotch Shot Radio Show. This is not a test. This is a broadcast transmission. We're going to stay on the air. And now, and now, the weepy, the weepy. Welcome to the Cry Child Radio Show where we kick the issues in the balls. We are on an active war against bullshit. We would do anything and everything to expose bullshit. The ends sometimes justify the memes. So if you're angry and want the truth exposed, then strap in and prepare to be shocked. This is Smash Mouth Talk. If you can't accept that, then fuck off. I'm your host, Louis B. I takes no bullshits from no ones. Actually, expose the bullshit of society and chop it up into easy to digest chunks for, just for you. Today won't be any different. Today, I am honored to have um, a uh, special guest, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you a man who is burning up the fashion game. CEO of founder of BeardsInBellies.com. I introduce to you, Anthony Christopher. Anthony, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? Thank you for having me. Thank you. Um, actually, you you uh, the reason why I want to have you on you you followed me on on um the Instagrams, mm -hmm. and uh, you know one thing uh, popped up at me. You you have a. Uh, you are you are a fashion retailer that um caters to the big size gentleman. Yeah. Um I'm a big dude myself. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's not a lot of stuff out there for us. So that I just do my part and try to contribute to the community, you know? Yeah. I mean and it kind of brings up um, you know, this is something I've been uh talking about for a while on this show, is uh the body positivity movement. Mm -hmm. it, it it seems like they're they're no they're no uh they don't really cater to men really it's <laughs> well i mean just my outlook on that men are a lot different than than women when it comes to mm -hmm. i guess body positivity i mean i can't speak for all men but myself mm -hmm. i mean it is what it is i am what i am so um for men that do have those body body positivity issues, right. it's just more of a mental thing. You need to get right with yourself. Once you get right with yourself, it don't matter what anybody else thinks. Right. I mean, but still, it's um, you know, it, it's like men. It's like still okay for men to be shamed for um, for the uh, for their um, their weight, and it's uh, like it's it's you know, it's okay for us to be to be uh, uh, ridiculed. Or even passed over when it comes to dating or relationships, uh, when it when it comes to uh, the body posi positivity movement, the only men you really see that are involved with that are gay men. I mean, nothing against gay men, but I mean, it's not really caters to like uh, heterosexual men. True, but I mean that's just the culture that we live in. Mm -hmm. I mean, just like when majority say men are supposed to cry it's kind of the same thing you know we just weren't raised that way right uh we were ways we were raised in a way to, to keep everything inside if something bothers bothers us deal with it yourself or put it away and just forget about it so 
Um, yeah, I would agree. It, for males, it's 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 a it's an issue that we deal with on our own. Um, but but again, that just like what I said before, just comes with mental toughness and and just confidence, pretty much. I mean, once you can get a grasp on that, in my opinion, um, doesn't matter. You know, uh, it's unfortunate that uh, these issues exist, yeah. but I mean. Pull your pants up and you got to deal with it. Exactly, exactly. Um, and uh, so, what made you? What made you start Beards and Bellies? You know, uh, it's a f- funny story. Um, one of my good friends, uh, his name is Dewan. Back in the day on Instagram, when hashtags first started going on, um, he started hashtagging Beards and Bellies. He's a big dude like myself, has a beard, and I just I love that hashtag. And I, we talked about this it. It probably about five six years ago. And um, I was like, man, we got to start something with it. Let's do something. Nothing never happened with it. Mm. Probably about five years. Nothing ever happened with it. And then I started working on my other company, uh, Draws Brand Co., which is a uh, men's underwear line. And um, I started figuring out how to do retail online and just learn a bunch of things. And uh, I was like, you know what? While I'm learning this, let me, let me put that beards and bellies idea together and, and put it up there and let's see how it does. And uh, that's how it started. I mean, it was a thought from years ago, and then I found the opportunity to do it now just by learning and gaining information, and now it's here. So what made you um, – in, what inspired you to uh, see if there was a market for uh, – to cater to the plus-size gentleman? Um, myself, I mean, there, there is a market. I mean, mm-hmm. I live it every day, you know what I mean? So um, I guess what inspired me was – was just my life and my friend's life that um, I witness on a day, daily basis, you know? And uh, like I said, I live it. So I knew there was a market for it. I know I'm not the only one. But uh, when, what was the sign that gave you uh, that, that showed you that you could actually make a living selling clothes to, to, for that catered specifically for big men? I... Well, what was just, what was the writing on the wall, as it were? Just through my research, I mean, everything is about finding a niche, right? Mm-hmm. So, what better niche than, let's say, uh, eighty to ninety percent of all males in America are overweight, mm-hmm. and the trend now is a lot of people will have beards, and um, I mean, I've had a beard since I was in the eighth, ninth grade, so. Um, Basically, I just based it around me, and I felt like there the market's there. Um, I just saw it from that standpoint, and and um, I knew that I knew that this would. I don't want to say uh, I knew this would interest people. That's the best way to put it. I knew this would be interesting to people. I knew it would open up um, kind of a new culture and bring it to the surface. Um, Come on, I mean, look at look at. There's a lot of successful people like us, um, from hip hop to to movie actors to we're everywhere. So why don't we have a line yet? Exactly. Did you experience any backlash when starting this? Did uh, yeah, yeah. any negativity? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And if I did, I mean, I'm just the type of person. Um, <laughs> I don't care what anybody thinks. I'm going to do what I need to do or do what I want to do. And uh, if I get backlash from people, that means I'm doing something right. Um, you, I have, I mean, you get some DMs here and there talking mess, but nothing really publicly or anything like that. What, what's the worst you've gotten? Um, stop following me. I'm not fat. And I don't have a beard. <laughs> um, I can't wear this. It's for fat people only. Like I've, I've gotten stuff like that, but I mean, if you click on their Instagram profiles, I mean, it doesn't bother you. Trust me. Mm. <laughs> when you take a look at who they are. All right. Um, so what, what's, um, oh, goodness. Oh, well, I mean, you know, the the one thing I, I kind of kind of like about this whole idea is because mm-hmm. when, when I go clothing shopping, it seems like the like in every department store, the men's section, with the exception of Macy's, maybe, they have it so out of the way. The, all the men's clothes are out of the way towards the back. 
Um, it's they're barely lit. I mean, I'm surprised I don't have to go through a beaded a beaded curtain just to get to the clothes. Like it's either clothes or shoes. Are, are you are you looking to expand into shoes? Um, no, I think I'm, I'm gonna keep it uh, just uh, apparel. Um, ah. shoe, the shoe game is just <laughs> that's a that's a barriers to entry that is tough, and that's just not something I'm willing uh, to explore. I, I, need, I need wide width. That's that's what I'm trying to say. I I, <laughs> I got wide boats. I can walk on water. I mean. My last name isn't even Christ. I mean, I, I just. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's relatable to clothes too, man. I mean, you go in those department stores, and I mean, you tell me how hard is it to find a two X, three X, or a four X? It's tough. Yeah, it is. I mean, and it's like, uh, like one one salesperson is like, "What well, ha- um have you thought about losing weight?" I'm like, "Yeah, I've thought about it." <laughs> <laughs> it's like Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, man, but that, that's kind of what it's about. I mean, and that translate directly over to like to, to my other line, like my underwear line. We don't stop it. Like how most do have one X for beards and bellies and for draws Branco it goes up to four XL. Yeah. Some of the beards and bellies, uh, tees and, and tanks and sweatshirts I have will go up to five, just depending. It's a little bit harder to find five XL, but if I can find them, I'm definitely going to put it on there. But yeah, I'm accommodating everybody. Right. Right. Um, well, let's talk about draws. I, are are they? Is it going to be? I mean, okay. What what? Uh, let, let, let me rewind that a little bit. Um, what's your what's your inspiration? Who who's the who designs the clothes? I do. Ah, I do. Yeah. What what's what's your inspiration? What uh, what uh, what influences your your style? You know, like. I don't know everything. Like I, I literally have a notepad on my phone mm-hmm. if I'm driving, driving to work, or if I'm just sitting down. And I can't just say one thing inspires me to design something. It's more like I get a thought and I put it in my notes. And then I don't know. Whenever I get some free time, I go through it, and whatever looks most important, I tackle that and I create it. I mean. A lot of things, I, I guess, in, inspire me. I mean, just the simple fact that um, I'm kind of creating the opportunity for myself to be self-sufficient. That's what that's my biggest motivator. Right. And and to teach my kids that you don't always have to get out of high school and go get a job. You can make money for yourself and do something for yourself. They can do anything they want. But for myself, I mean, I kind of found my my knack in the T-shirt and, and design the underwear. So, yeah. yeah. So did did you have to go through a lot of uh, research and development to like see what, uh, especially with the underwear, because you know, hey, yeah. shit, shit bunches up, uh, you know, you know, ride, uh, you know, the the boxes yeah, yeah. ride up, you know, especially <laughs> like especially Absolutely. when you're moving up, moving around, and you know. Absolutely, I mean. Uh, beards and bellies. It was fairly easy. I found T-shirts that I liked that felt good on me, and and I was able to design them and, and put the stuff together. But the underwear draws Branco. I mean, that is tough. I've been working on that for over two years, um, just going through different samples, going through different designs, different. It's a cut and sew product, so it's completely custom. So um, it'll be different than anything on the market. But what's what I know is is great about it is I didn't just go and make this. I spent hundreds maybe over a thousand dollars like buying different brands of underwear just trying to see what what i like as a bigger person right and and having my buying even buying them from my friends just seeing what they like and kind of putting all that stuff together just to create i mean in my mind the perfect pair um most comfortable and and paired with style you know what i mean Mm -hmm. and on top of that i mean it's for the culture draws I, i really kind of look up to uh, uh, Damon John and that for us, by us mentality. Mm. And, um, I mean, draws, I mean, uh, we grew up with that. I mean, getting out the shower, your mom tell you put some clean draws on, or or it's just, the word itself is, is just part of us. And um, that's kind of why I believe in it so much is because it's, it's really for us, by us. This was something that we created and now I'm just setting it in stone. So people know uh, it's ours. Have you have you spoken to any ladies about, especially when it comes to the underwear, to like make sure that it, it's it's sexy to them? 
my wife right. <laughs> and, and and my yeah i mean if you on my instagram and we haven't even launched yet we i dropped draws in august and i'm approaching seven thousand followers already and i've gotten a lot of feedback from men and women so mm-hmm. i'm pretty confident that uh it's, it's gonna go well and people are gonna like the product right Mary. well yeah i mean it's all about it's entrepreneurship that that <laughs> is is the american way yeah I mean, as a proud boy, you know, it's it's uh, one of the tenets is to uh, venerate the entrepreneur. So mm-hmm. you are you are doing the Lord's work. Yeah, I agree. But um, OK, uh, what else I got? Um, trying to, trying to. What, what other what other brands are you working on? Uh, just these two at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much all in on, on these two brands and. Um, I'm, I'm spread pretty thin between the both of them. So, um, very happy about beers and bellies doing, doing very well just for opening in March. Mm-hmm. Um, I couldn't ask for, for a better launch and, uh, very proud of that. And, uh, with, with the draws, I mean, like I said, I'm getting a lot of good feedback. I mean, from people from all walks of life. So, so very excited for that as well. So. Um, if people want to text in and uh, text a question uh, to Chris, uh, please uh, feel free and call, um, well, not call, but text 347-927-6824. That's 347-927-6824. If you guys want to text in. Um, we also have a chat room in on Spreaker.com. Uh, if you're listening, you're probably already on the link. There's a chat room. Uh, feel free and then use it. I will read your comments to Chris uh, right now. So, yeah, I'd love to answer some questions. That'd be great. Yeah. So, um, like back to the whole body positivity. I mm-hmm. mean, is, is there uh, is there a space for um, for guys like us to to be to be to have fat accept, fat acceptance? To have fat acceptance, yeah, because um, that's another thing. Because it's body positivity you know, is also fat acceptance. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to keep going back to the same thing, but right. you got to accept yourself before you expect anybody else to accept you. Right. You know what I mean? And I don't know if that's just the male mentality I have, mm-hmm. but you can't rely on anybody else to make you happy, man. I mean, all this body positivity, be positive about yourself, show that you don't give a fuck about anybody, what they say, what they think. And that confidence that you project, that whole me being fat and me feeling this way, you're not even going to feel it anymore. Right. right. So, well, if I could play devil's advocate real quick. Yeah. Um, what what would you say to someone that would what that would say you are um you're trying to coddle an unhealthy um body image like you're trying to coddle people who have unhealthy um li- uh, an un- unhealthy lifestyle hmm. what i really say yeah <laughs> uncensored mind your, uncensored. <laughs> mind your own business and move on it ain't for you obviously right but i mean to kind of get more in depth in that. Mm-hmm. Um, some people, I mean, that's just what their life is, man. Some people don't, can't, they don't have the, the, um, how can I say, uh, the knowledge or the know-how to, to do right or to eat right or to do this. Not saying that that's why they're fat, but most people are fat because what they eat is McDonald's and all this crazy crap and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And some people just don't have the will, whether it stems from other things like depression or, there could be so many factors going on. I mean, people don't know what, what people are going through. You know what I mean? So um, aside from that, keep it pushing. It's not for you if that's what you if that's your take on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, I, uh, was this idea of yours, was it was there any political motivation behind it or it was just absolutely not i'm just i just need i'm looking for clothes i can't find clothes that i like to wear um no it it, it was just more it was something that 
I don't want to say necessarily that I thought of on my own, but it was something that was brought to my attention from a friend of mine. And mm-hmm. I just I just felt it would it would relate to a lot of people, including myself. And um, that's why it was put together. I mean, just uh, I mean, I just go back to culture. I mean, you just go back and it's something that everybody can relate to or not everybody, but most people can relate to. And there's something we need something for us. You know what I mean? So it's nice to be able to see a brand or, or an article of clothing that is made for you, you know, and um, that's not that, that's not really present in our uh, category. So um, I wanted to bring that to everybody. Right. Uh, we actually got a text uh, from number 1382. Uh, this person says, are your clothes sold only online or at stores like Big and Tall for men? Um, no, it's only online for now. Um, so Beards and the Bellies, beardsandbellies.com, Draws Branco, um, drawsbranco.com. I, yeah, I was I was recently on Draws Branco. When, when <laughs> is the official launch? launch uh, our goal date is August 15th. August 15th. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So question, question about the fashion industry. How come yeah. it's taken this long for, for us to be represented? Like with style, like honestly with style, because you have big and tall shops, of course, but yeah. like with, with all due respect to them, I mean, unless you're getting like, like khakis or some slacks <laughs> yeah like they make you look like a look like an old man like you're just you're about to retire it's not good for like to go to go out club and trying to pick up chicks well i think what it comes down down to is the work that's involved to put something together mm-hmm. i mean most people like you with your podcast right i mean it takes work to come in here every week. Um, I checked out your YouTube. You have hundreds of uh, podcasts on there. Yep. And it, it, that's a lot of work. So I think what it is is that people aren't willing to put in the time and the work. When they get an idea, they just sits in their head and they don't want to take any action. Mm-hmm. I had an idea. I took action. And I think that's what it comes down to. Um, I don't want to say my idea or this brand is – is. Uh, an anomaly or something that nobody could think of. Um, I think it's it's very present in all of our lives. I'm sure somebody has had the idea, but they just didn't want to put in the work to to bring it to life. Right. I mean, like I said, I mean, their their clothes. I mean, like, unless you're trying to get khakis and, and some socks, like I wouldn't like the outfits they put out there. It's like it's definitely not stylish. It's definitely yeah. not. Uh, I guess what you can say flattering for for men um but i mean again there's clothes out there there's nothing specifically for us and and don't don't get me wrong i mean this this clothing brand was definitely developed for guys like me and mine and um but it's open to everybody no discrimination here you got a beard rock it you got a belly rock it you like people with beards and bellies rock it you know what i mean so um I think it's a great brand. Touches a lot of people, and mm-hmm. and it's for everyone. So okay. Um, hmm. Goodness, did I burn through all my questions? Holy crap! All right. <laughs> um. Again, opening it up to anybody else that wants to throw a question out there. Uh. Ooh. Crickets. Yeah, crickets. Uh <laughs> just just what what else? What else? Um Oh, did uh did did uh did your wife have a hand in helping you design? Is this like a family affair? Um yeah, I mean I, I get in here and I do everything and she's the she's the person I go to to kind of finalize everything. When I have an idea or a design mm-hmm put it together and I go to her and I say, Hey, what do you think about this? Because ultimately I don't care what any man says, mm-hmm. you're dressed and you're trying to look good for for women, for the opposite sex, whether you're trying to find a woman or not. I mean, you want to be attractive. So um I always rely on her 
expertise in that department and and she's definitely a big help when it comes to to both these brands yes venerate the housewife ladies and gentlemen venerate the housewife um <laughs> just uh Okay, I already asked you if you have anything else down the bottom. I, I begged you to make shoes. Uh, <laughs> I begged you to make shoes. I begged, I begged you to make some shoes because, uh, you know, I, yeah, it's hard to for, for me to find shoes that, that you know, I don't play basketball, so I don't need to be getting $3,000 sneakers on my feet for no reason. <laughs> I mean, it'd be, it'd be nice to make shoes, man, but that's... Uh... I mean, I've looked into it. That's it's tough to get into that. Maybe after it's well established and mm -hmm. uh, we see a market for it, then um, we can take a look at that. But it's, it's a tough game to get into. Have you have you thought about um, like I know the last question was um, if you were sold in stores or you uh, are there plans to get your get your clothing in the big and tall stores or any store actually. Um, definitely always open to, uh, to going into retail. It just has to be at the right time right. and it has to be on our turn on my terms. I mean, I, I want to establish myself. I want to make sure, um, that I have some type of leverage. I want to get to a position to where retailers want me into their store because it's going to bring them customers. I don't want to be in a retail store to make more money. If, if that makes, I mean, of course I want to make money on my clothing yeah. line, but I want them to, to want my stuff in their store. I'm not going to go out and look for it at this time and try to get my stuff in stores. Um, I'm trying to make a bang and make some noise on my own first. Have you thought about opening a, a boutique, like a brick and mortar to support the, the dot com or? Uh, no, not at all. Um, just, just from, my research and, and I just believe that the smartest way to do it is online. Everybody's online um, on your phone, uh, mm -hmm. computer. I mean, it's the easiest way to, to get any type of product nowadays. And um, putting up a store at this point in time, it's not it's not even in, the, in my thoughts right now. Oh, got a, got a text okay. message. In case you... Another one from uh, 1382. Any any plans on making clothing for women in the in the future? Yeah, so uh, maybe not for beards and bellies, but right. uh, for draws, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. The goal for for draws Branco is to be all inclusive, women, men, possibly children down the line, but anything undergarment. So we're talking about. Panties, bras, underwear for men, um, long underwear, socks, undershirts, um, leggings, everything that you can think of that, that would be an undergarment. Eventually, at some point, we're going to be into, into all of that. I can suggest some uh, female models for the thongs. <laughs> There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Yeah, I follow many of them on the Instagram. <laughs> I do too. I get in trouble for it, but I still follow. Well, you know, you shouldn't because you're a married man. Leave some for, leave <laughs> the oogling to the single guys. Uh, yeah. We have uh, another question again from uh, 1382. They're killing it, killing it. Um, <laughs> where are your Where are your clothes made uh, or manu and manufactured? Um. All beers and bellies is uh, manufactured in the United States, ah. and uh, for draws, uh, some parts of the garment are manufactured here, and uh, some are manufactured overseas. I see. What? Well, um, how come? How come not? Uh, how come one hundred percent of it is not uh, made in the U.S.? Um, just some. Uh, first of all, cost. And secondly, um, some of the fabrics that I use um, are either super expensive in the United States or I just can't find them uh, because of draws. I mean, there's three different we're, we're launching with three different lines. Mm. There's going to be your basic cottons. Then you have your uh, micro model, which is like a real um, very, very soft material. And then we have a, a, a nylon, which is I mean, it feels like silk. It's It's very very nice to the touch so um because we're coming out with so many different fabrics it, it's hard to find it all here 
and especially uh, in the budget. Yeah. Um, okay, this might sound like a silly question, but have you thought about um, using hemp? I have thought about that. I have thought about that. And um, I don't know when, but uh, it's definitely in the plans down the line. I just haven't done enough research on it on my own to, to be able to, uh, to to put it out now. Right. But um, I do see that coming. Because I hear, I hear especially if you want to use the whole um, going green angle, it, ho- <laughs> it holds its color for longer yeah. and it's 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 really durable no it is but i mean you gotta understand even with him it's going to be mixed with some type of, of fabric you know whether it's spandex or polyester or something that's going to give it that um that stretch you know so you're still going to have um even though it might be a little bit you can't say it's really much greater than cotton, you know, it's both from the earth. It's just either hemp or it's cotton. Uh, but it's definitely, it definitely caters to uh, uh, a niche type of customer. So it, it's something that I'll be looking into soon. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. We just got another, we got another text message and you've already, you already answered this, but um, draws guy, you sound hot. Are you single? And that's from four zero four nine. I'll give you their number. Well, if uh, if you're interested, I won't tell. I I respect the bro code. Well, uh, <laughs> no, uh, I am married. <laughs> there you go. I was just waiting. I was waiting for someone to be retarded. Yeah. But you can you can follow me on Instagram. My personal is at a underscore c three two. So you can follow me. Slide into his DMs. No, you ain't gonna do all that. <laughs> so, oh man, um, oh, well, okay, we're back. Back. I was about to ask a question, and then that just threw me. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, there you go. We got another one from a uh, question from six three one six. Um. Again, this is a question we I already asked, but um, do you have plans to uh, franchise? Oh no, I didn't answer that question. Do you have a plan to franchise out your brands? Um, no, uh, I'm very. How can I say? Um, I put in a lot of work on this, and I'm still in a stage where I just don't trust anybody else with it. It's you know, your baby, and it, it's mine. And I, I mean, I want to share it with everybody, but it's something that I, I want to push myself for at this point. I mean, um, I, I don't really know too much about franchising clothing brands, but um, if that is a, a thing, then um, I don't know who knows in the future. Mm-hmm. I guess I guess that will come like when you start maybe start making your own stores or whatnot. Yeah, I guess, I mean, if I were to go into, like, brick-and-mortar retail, then yeah. uh, I guess that would be, be an option. But, I mean, again, I mean, if banks are closing up on every corner, I mean, I just don't think that mm. it's ideal right now to put out a, a clothing store that's specific to one type of right. uh, uh, client or customer, you know what I mean? So, so I mean... The- like to to perhaps what would you say to a person that like let's say like you know the the brick and mortar clothing stores are essential for people that want to um, what the hell is going on what the fuck hello yeah sorry what the hell was that <laughs> all right okay that just started playing by itself uh <laughs> Uh, like people that want to go to like brick and mortar stores to try on before they buy instead of waiting for it to come, uh, you know, get delivered and then try it on only to find out it doesn't fit right. Well, everybody is a different shape and and size, Mm -hmm. but for the most part, um, everything I make is true to size. Um, and there's extensive size charts on the website and, um, if you're lazy, you'll buy the wrong size. 
if you want to really make sure it fits, you'll measure yourself and look at the size chart and you'll make sure you get the exact size that you need. Okay, we got another uh, question from 4049. Um, how much are your products? Uh, any any opening day deals we should look out for? And when will you launch? Okay, so Beers and Bellies is already out. Um, how much are the products? I mean, it just depends on what you buy. There's a lot of things on there. There's hoodies, there's crews, there's t-shirts, there's tank tops, there's hats, there's beanies. Um, I mean, I guess range from 25 all the way up to $60, I guess. Um, draws, um, launch in August. Um, I, I, I couldn't understand the, the middle part. I think you said something about offering. Uh, opening, uh, dis- op- opening day deals. Oh, yeah. So right now, if you go to drawsbrandco.com, you'll see a space to enter your email address. That is my day one's list. If you're rocking with me on day one, not only will you get a, uh, a discount code when we launch, but you'll get early access to the website. We'll provide you with a special password so you can log into the website and you can make your purchases before everyone else. So, um, again, just go to drawsbrandco.com and uh, to enter your email address, you'll receive an email from, from us and uh, just keep a lookout and we'll be getting those codes out to you. Mm-hmm. So, uh... so, to answer them all. Yep. Oh, next question from 6316. Thank you. You're saving my life right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, okay. This is from 6316. Uh, will you advertise on TV at some point? Probably not. I mean, yeah. I mean, TV's pretty much dead. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's just not where everybody's at nowadays. Um, I know social media is really saturated, but that's where the advertisement is going to go. All sorts of social media, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. um, I'm pretty much sticking to that for now. Uh, Might I add it? Well, I don't know if they accept uh, or or Uh, allowing... um, advertising but there's me we now there's new ones because fewer people are using facebook now so uh there's me we there's minds.com um and there's parlay that uh, a lot of uh also gab gab is another one that uh, people are going towards good to know i haven't heard of this yeah thank you yes uh okay we got ourselves another uh another text um, if I want to try your clothes, what is your return policy? Jesus. Um, for beards and bellies, I mean, I have pretty strict return policies on on both of them. For beards and bellies, again, it, it's 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 written on our website what the sizing is and how it fits. I have all the measurements on there. So unless your your item's defective. Um, there really shouldn't be a reason to return. We don't, we don't take back, um, I guess, uh, Draws. regretful purchases, if you will. Mm. Um, and with draws, I mean, this is underwear. If it's open, I mean, it is what it is, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to be, give that to a friend if you don't want to. Yeah, you'll be bring, getting back ones with brown streaks on it. Like, yeah, it doesn't fit right. Like, ah. I don't want to know what I get back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's those are final sales most most of the time. I mean, unless of course it's defective. I mean, we'll definitely take responsibility for that. But right. um, yeah. Well, uh, are there any plans for like um, the the fit, one of the new things now is uh, custom, like custom fit, uh, like you, somebody you you'll like. Not somebody will come over, but you know, a person will take their own measurements based on the instructions on the site, and they are uh, the clothes are built custom to them. No, I don't think I'm gonna get into that. But um, what I have been uh, going back and forth with um, eventually uh, withdrawals is uh, just customization of the underwear. So um, maybe custom designs. Um, 
custom logos around the waistband, things like that. Um, not necessarily into to custom fits, but um, definitely, hopefully in the future, be able to customize um, some of the briefs. Right. Uh, 6316, uh, oops, yeah, 6316, uh, they ask, uh, what will the average... What would the average turnaround uh, time for bulk sales, like uh, 50 to 100 units for each brand? So let me understand. From retail, like if someone goes on my website and orders like 100 pairs or something like that? I guess so. Or you're talking about for wholesale. For retail, I mean... I, well, I don't know. They didn't say they like what okay. what's the turnaround. Well, I'll answer, both. I'll answer both. So retail, someone to order that much, um, we definitely accommodate them and they would be shipped out. Within, I believe, um, our policy is going to be within uh, 48 to 72 hours. Um, your order will be processed and shipped out. Um, depending on the shipping that you choose, um, that's when you receive the item. Um, wholesale, um, really not entertaining wholesale at the moment, given that we haven't even launched yet. Um, but I have been, I've had a few wholesalers contact me, so we're trying to put that together now and, and figure out how we're going to handle that. So, um, who, who uh, like, let's say there are retailers out there that want to carry your brand. How can they get into contact with you? Uh, well, they can definitely uh, send us a message on Instagram at Draws Branco, or you can also email info at drawsbranco.com. And Draws is D-R-A-W-L-Z. Mm -hmm. You hear that, Costco? <laughs> I, and I'm talking to you too, BJ's. <laughs> Costco, I don't know. They, they, this brand is is uh, a little different. This is not. I'll be real selective with who who I let pick it up and 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 who I work with when it comes to any retailers or anything like that. Okay, so no Costco. <laughs> no Costco. Damn. Sorry, no Target. No, no Walmart. No Target. No, no. Oh God, there's there's like two of them near me. I, I you know. Be very. I'd rather be in a nice small boutique than than a uh, a Walmart or how would a Target. I look, how would like I look like going into a boutique? I'm sorry. How would I look like going into a boutique? I need some jobs. <laughs> well, I mean, a boutique is not necessarily just for for women. I mean, I guess the word might sound a little feminine, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you go to a lot of boutiques and you, you don't even realize it. So. Well, I, I get, I guess, I guess if if comic book shops are a boutique, yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, in that case, strip clubs are a boutique to me. <laughs> the booby boutique. So I mean, um, okay. Well, uh, I guess that that's that's the only questions I have. Um, like what? What? What is the major takeaway you want people to to get from from uh, draws and beards and bellies? You know, the major takeaway is if you want to do something, you can do it. Just put your mind to it and do it. Uh, I'm not going to try to sell you anything. We're, I'm doing fine. If you like it, please visit and, and check us out. If not, it is what it is. But the biggest takeaway is that I'm a regular person. All I did was just take an idea and put it into action, and anybody can do that. So if you got an idea, act on it, and um, I hope you're successful. Oh, what, 6316? This is the last question. Um, take, uh, do any of your proceeds or revenue go towards um, supporting special interest groups? Um, not at this time. Uh, again, Draws haven't, hasn't even launched yet, and Beards and Bellies, I mean, launched in March. So very young companies. Um, eventually, um, we'll definitely be be getting involved in, in, in different groups. But when it comes to that too, I'm just I'm very selective. Uh, so I'll, I'll definitely have to do some vetting and and figure out which groups that I want to support. Okay, last, last, last question because this just came in under the wire. Um, 
<laughs> Would you consider this a lifestyle brand? Brand. I mean, absolutely. I mean, I, I don't want to keep banking on the names of the companies, but I mean, beers and belly speaks for itself. And draws. I mean, just that name alone has just been a part of our culture forever. And um, I just, it's definitely a lifestyle brand. Not everybody will wear this. Not everybody will be interested in this. But people that are of, are of the culture, I mean, this is for them. All righty. I'd like to thank you for coming on. Um, thank you for having me. Uh, Anthony Christopher, uh, founder and CEO of uh, beardsandbellies.com. Beards is B E A R D S, the letter N. B E L L Y S dot com. Beards in beards and bellies dot com. And also draws. Uh what what's the uh web address for draws? Uh draws Branco, so it's uh D R A W L Z B R A N D C O Draws Branco dot com. And what's your Instagram again? Instagram is the same, Beards and Bellies, Draws Branco and uh you guys want to follow me personally my personal uh instagram is a underscore c32 cool cool thank you very much um before we end the show i'm going to play this song by someday static the song's called i would and we'll be back to end it this is the crotch out radio show kicking the issues directly in the balls
was Someday Static with their song, I Would, on the Crotch Out Radio Show. Again, big shout out to Anthony Christopher of BeardsAndBellies.com. Definitely check out his store, uh, support him, because uh, he, you know, look. Especially it's hard for me to fucking find clothes. So <laughs> uh, definitely we'll be checking out his stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, man. I'd like to thank everyone for listening. All the new listeners, please come back next week. Same crotch time, same crotch schedule. That's 830 Eastern. Um, I'm not going to break down all the time zones. It's just 830 Eastern. Uh, do the math. Uh, <laughs> every Wednesdays. Every Wednesday, uh, and come back next week. We'll have a fantabulous show planned. Uh, probably got a special, another special guest coming on. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Anyways, this has been the Crotch Out Radio Show, and as always, from my house to your house, mahalo. Hey, that's the end of my show, donk. Help the Crotch Out Radio Show grow and thrive by doing something you already do. Shop on Amazon. Amazon always has great deals for whatever you are looking for. From survivalists and riot gear to beanie babies. Next time you're going to shop at Amazon, use my link. The prices stay the same, but I get credit for the sale. Just go to tinyurl.com slash B and just shop normally knowing that you're helping support the Crotch Out Radio Show. That's tinyurl.com slash Louie B.